Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Welch with Global Prosperity Marketing. Have you ever played golf with someone and they cheated? Have you ever played any kind of sports with someone and they just didn't play it the way they were supposed to? When I play golf with people and you see them hit the ball out of, uh, out of bounds somewhere in some rough and, and they think that no one's looking and they'll tap it out into the, the clear and they'll keep playing. What's so amazing about that is the game of golf you actually are playing yourself. You're not playing someone else. You're playing against your own scores, your own past, your own past experiences, and your own past successes. So when you're playing golf and you're cheating, you're not cheating anyone but yourself. You're actually taking away from the opportunity of learning, the opportunity of actually striving to become better. So if you're going to build a network marketing company, don't play it like golf. You see, I can see some people in network marketing as if they think if they hit the ball to a certain location, they should have the ability to secretly dig a hole, put the ball down in it, and say, hey, I just got a hole in one. Or maybe I, 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 I parred the hole, or I may have actually even eagled the hole. network marketing many times will cheat their own sales by their mentality and the way that they handle things. But there's three key factors to succeeding in this business that you must have the willingness to be. The first is you must be actively involved, actively involved working the system. If you're actively involved working the system, you can't lose. You're going to win. You must be actively, not passively, actively. Don't cheat the system. Don't modify the system. Don't take away from it, add to it. Don't change it in any way. Because as soon as you start doing that, you are slowing not only yourself down, you're going to slow your entire organization down because they're all going to be doing all types of different things and it will cause everyone to be innovative, everyone to try new experiments on their organizations and before you know it, you're wondering why, why that your volume has gone down. Stay with a system. Stay with a simple system that duplicates and does not get away from the power of duplication. Number two, your willingness to achieve your goals, to set your goals, to achieve your goals. You must have a goal. You see, most people in network marketing, they join a business, they get excited about the business, they're overwhelmed with excitement, enthusiasm about whatever someone else did. Yes, that's exactly true. Someone got up on stage, they gave them this warm bath of enthusiasm and caused them to actually say, wow, I have to be part of this opportunity. How do I pay for these products? How do I get involved? How do I become a distributor? After a full night of not being able to sleep very well because of all that excitement, they wake up the very next morning and guess what they do? They look around and say, what do I do next? I don't have a clue why I even did what I did last night. They are actually, most likely, very disappointed in their own selves that they joined under an emotional experience. Well, we've all done that. And we've all asked someone else, what do we do? Why did you get me into this? What do I do next to make sure that I have a conversion rate and that I'm actually going to be able to succeed in what I committed to last night? And most of the time, the person who signed you up in the organization or the company is going to look at you and say, I have no idea. I signed up just last week. What are your activities this week? What are your activities today? You have to narrow it down to a small thing. So if someone tells you that you need to hand out 50 people samples this month. Make it a simple process. If you have the goal of handing out 50 pre-approach packs and samples to different people throughout the month, that's less than two people per day. Anyone can do that. If you tell someone they need to hand out 50 samples, it may sound overwhelming to them. And you may feel that way when you are told something of that stature. Well, I have to tell you, you have to narrow it down bring it down to a smaller level. So it's very important to follow the system. It's also important to follow your goals, to stretch yourself, to set those goals. Don't be caught in a business without setting goals. If you don't set goals, who is going to take you to the next level? 
You are the only one. You're the one who makes a difference in your future. You're the one who can change your entire life with your willingness to set goals. Imagine someone shooting an arrow, an archer shooting an arrow up into the sky and wherever it falls, wherever it lands, you take a bucket of red paint and a bucket of white paint and you just simply draw a target around that arrow. That's the way so many people do. They work their business aimlessly. They work their businesses as if nothing really matters about a goal. A goal is the most important thing that you can do to reach success in network marketing. If you have a goal, that means you're going to stretch yourself to reach that goal. If you don't have a goal, you're like the guy shooting the arrow up into the sky. Wherever it lands, that's where you're going to fake it. You're going to cheat yourself, just like the person who digs a hole, puts the golf ball in it and says, I made a hole in one. That just simply doesn't work. You're not cheating anyone else but yourself when you do not follow a system. The third thing I would like to talk to you about is your enthusiasm about the products and the opportunity. If you have no enthusiasm, if you have no excitement about your success, you can't expect anyone to want what you have. You see, you have to be excited. You have to have that enthusiasm. If you are actually working in a business and you're not excited about what you do, in fact, maybe you're not happy at all. If you're not happy, why would I want to say yes to you? If you're not enjoying what you're doing, why would I want to be you? Why would I want to be in your business? Because I want to be happy. I want to be joyful. I want to be excited. I want to have enthusiasm. I want to have a life of happiness and tranquility and, and all these types of things that people talk about every day. So if you're trying to share with me your opportunity and you don't have any enthusiasm about your life, you don't have any enthusiasm about your opportunity or your products, or where you're going in life, your goals, your why, your purpose of why you do exactly what you do. If you have no enthusiasm whatsoever, you will not win me. You see, you must believe it before it happens sometimes. You must live it before it happens. I'm not telling you to fake it. I'm telling you to believe it. It's important to believe in what you can become. It's important to understand it starts with belief. And one of the greatest expressions of belief is enthusiasm. It's the feeling that causes everyone to create a movement.